2K19 of Fortnite account. If you do, make sure you hit up at B Sports TMB on Twitter. You have a professional website is watched by 1,000 plus people, and link is in the description. Do you need MT? If you do, make sure you hit up at DVDJ.com and make sure you use code Blaze for 5% off any of your orders. Anyway, on with story time. Right there. Okay, so, in case you don't know, I went to the gym today and I went to go work out. It was very, very exciting. Um,. So, today was a free trial, right? Most gyms, it's not Crunch. Crunch is a gym I used to go to. So, I signed up for a free trial online. Um, I got there, I went to the gym, and I walked in, right? And I was referred to by my dad to go to this gym. Little did I know, this gym is like for professional athletes. Like, <laughs> I'm talking about like top of the line like equipment everything they're so fancy they have like that curved treadmill instead of a straight line it's a curved treadmill right so i walk in we shake hands i start feeling very self-conscious because i look around and like there's a bunch of like fucking meatheads it's like going around waddling and shit i'm pretty sure i see like some like six foot seven basketball player in a corner so that was crazy and then we walked in he was like hello what's your name my name is blaze um my name is blank oh, we're gonna call him john it's like oh, no, he's latino juan um so he's like hello my name is juan welcome to our gym um are you the appointment for 11 o'clock and i'm like yes i am for, i am the appointment for 11 o'clock hi nice to meet you so, okay sit over here flood this paperwork and we'll get you started actually it wasn't it, this place is so fancy they have an ipad where you fill out the paperwork you fill it out on an iPad, no paper. So I was on an iPod, I was on the, I was on an iPad. It's like birthday, name, email, shit like that. Resting heart rate. And so basically, he took his, he took his hand, and he put on my wrist and it checked my resting heart rate. Okay, me being the fat ass that I am, I, I know that like my resting heart rate is gonna be high. So I panicked. What happens, I wasn't resting, I was nervous. So my heart rate was higher than usual. It wasn't resting because I knew I was out of shape and I knew my heart pressure was gonna be high as hell. And then he then like, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a test, right? The, the, the lesson was a test to see where you are, like health wise, like are you fit? And I felt embarrassed, but I was like, yeah, I played football for 14 years. I was a fighter. But then now I'm doing YouTube. I work at home all day. I get bored. I'm an emotional eater. Um, I eat a lot of food. I was like, working out is not my problem. It's food. He was like, okay, I got you. First thing that we did was easy. He had me he had me do like step ups on a on a flat bench. So I stood up. And I did step ups. I go. I, I stood up, step down, and step again. Did that for three minutes. Shot three minutes. And it was. It was. I'm not gonna lie. It was so tiring. It was so tiring when I did it. Um. And then while we we're doing that, he was asking me questions, like, "What do you do for work?" I'm like, "I'm a YouTuber." And then he was like, "Oh, that's cool." And he's trying to like get to know me on a personal level. And I'm sitting over there like breathing hard as shit. Cause I can't, I, the, the only thing I step on is the steps going to my apartment that I go on once a week to go out and get groceries. Okay, I'm not used to fucking steps doing it for three minutes. So I'm sitting there out of breath trying to talk to my trainer and try, he's trying to get to know me. And I'm over there like, yeah, I, I do YouTube. Right? So then that's done. He checked my heart rate. And he's like, wow, that's pretty high. 
And I'm like, yes, bitch, I sit down all day and play video games. What did you expect? Like, what were you expecting with these tests? I didn't say that, but I thought it, right? He's like, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna do a push-up test now. Do as many push-ups as you can in one minute. Um, that was easy. I did like 50 or 60 in one minute. Easy work. Okay, you see, you see his titties? This is a lot of muscle right here. This is a lot of muscle right here in these titties. I'm telling you. I did 60 in one minute. I was proud of myself. I didn't work out chest ever. I was so proud of myself. But I feel like I wanted to die. Like, after I did the push-ups, my body was like, whoa, dude. Like, like we weren't ready for this. We weren't prepared. You know, you did 60 push-ups out of nowhere. You didn't warn us about this. Um, so yeah, my body was out. I was breathing hard. Like, I, I just ran, like, for, like, one hour or some shit. Went in my water. Brought my trusty Gatorade. Sponsored by 2K. The next test was sit-ups. Okay? Keep in mind, I was tired as hell, right? But he decided it was a good idea to give me one minute. He gave me a one minute break, chat. A one minute break. So by the time I was doing sit-ups, my stomach was inflating like a fucking balloon. And it was like, psh, 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 psh. okay, in case you don't know, you can't do sit-ups when your stomach is inflating like this. So I'm trying to like go up and shit. And I did like eight sit-ups. So, you know, I mean, I've never been good on abs. Like my abs are always like my weakest muscle. Cause I don't care for it. I don't care about abs. I don't. So like I didn't want to go work out because I knew this was gonna happen. I knew I was not gonna be as good as I used to be. Right? So I'm sitting there doing sit-ups and shit. I did 10 in one minute. One year ago, I could do like 120, 130, fucking rap you know, like this, going back and forth, back and forth. I'll show this shirt. Um sure. Um Say 130 in one minute. I did 10 chat. I did 10. Like one, boom. Two, boom. Three, boom. It was, it was, it, it was so trash. After that, he brought me to the corner of the room next to fucking LeBron James, for all I know. This was big as hell. He was tall. He looked like he was training for the NFL, for the box or some shit. And he asked me to do a pull up, right? And I'm like, oh, not this shit again. Like, I weigh 280. I'm 5'10. ten. Most work I've done is to walk to the bathroom right here and like drink water. And listen, I I I I tried hard. Like, no, like chat, listen, I knew that I was not gonna be able to do a pull-up, right? So I came down, I was getting so angry for this. I got so angry. I stood up and I was like, We're doing this! We're doing this, chat! I'm gonna get this one pull-up done! Cause I knew I was gonna be hard. Okay, I haven't worked out in a year. So I was like, I'm gonna get this pull up. Touch the bar. Go up, I swear on everything. I even make it halfway. They even make it halfway. Well, I came all the way up here. And then I just, I, I started shivering and shit, doing the shake shit. Nah, I just let it go. And I was like, fuck that. And then I thought that was the end of the workout. I thought that was it. I thought I was gonna be done, call it a day, go home, get me, you know, a, a chocolate shake and some fries. But then, I thought workout was done. The workout was done. This motherfucker knows how out of shape I am. So he goes, okay, boys. It's time for your run test. I got out of breath from walking up and down a fucking staircase for three minutes. Says, okay, Blaze, it is time for your run test. All right, I was, okay, so I was like, cool. You know, I was expecting like, maybe like one lap, like 0.25 miles, maybe 0.5, worst case scenario. He's like, no. We are gonna do one and a half mile run! One and a half miles! One and a half miles! 
I haven't even ran 100 feet in the last year! He just threw me to the fire and said, no, Blaze, we're gonna run one and a half miles. Not only that, I'm using one of those fancy ass treadmills that are curved like this. Not the flat one that I'm used to, where I can adjust the speed, the fucking flat one. That's like curved like this. Now, in case you don't know, he told me that the, the, this one adjusts to your speed. Like, you don't choose the speed, you just hop on, you run, and you go as fast as you want to, and it adjusts to your speed. Little did I know, chat, if you're over 200 pounds, the treadmill moves for you. You don't choose the speed, no. So I stepped in that bitch and went zoom. You don't choose the speed if you're over 200 pounds. It moves for you. So then I literally had to get my arms on an armrest, lift my body weight up, and like I jogged for a good minute, right? I was jogging for a good minute, feeling good. Then the cardio started kicking in, getting tired as hell. And I'm like, I'm almost done, right? I look at the timer. 0.1 miles. I have to do it 15 more times. 15 more times. So I sit there and I put my arms up on the bar. And I start walking. Walking really fucking slow. And I had to put my arms up so it doesn't push me to run faster. Because it knows I'm a fatty. So I'm sitting there walking. And he starts talking to me throughout this process. Like, oh, what are you doing on YouTube? I'm like, um, I play video games. I upload 2K videos. And I'm like, um, he was like, what'd you eat last week? <laughs> he was like, what did you eat yesterday? And I was like, well, I knew I was going to the gym. So I had like a celebratory last meal. Like I was on death row, right? So, I mean, I, chat, I, I ordered, I'm not gonna lie, I ordered, I ordered from this, like, this gourmet breakfast place. Got my, so I was like, okay, well, I got two chocolate cakes, two ice creams, I got one French toast stuffed crust, with, like, little icing in the middle and shit, it's so good, and, like, threw on top, oh my god, okay. Anyway, so I got that. I got two burgers and two hash browns. Three Cokes, on one sitting. He's like, oh, it's a lot of food. I'm like, no shit, that was my last, it was, it was my last, it was my celebratory last meal, because I knew as soon as I came here, it's a GG, no more food, no more nothing. I, I want to enjoy my time before I went to boot camp, right? So after that, I started walking really slow, and he ends up leaving me, and I started getting into like that deep mindset, and I remember there's this one guy named David Groggins, who said that your body is at 40% of its maximum potential, and can go 60% longer. So like, 10 minutes pass, I'm walking, so this motherfucker comes right back around, so I trying to talk to me again. And I just zoned out. I went I went all within. I zoned out. Went tunnel vision. Looked straight ahead. I'm not talking to you. I'm tired as fuck right now. I'm, I'm walking like a camel. But I'm doing these 1.5 miles. That you're making me do. Knowing damn well I'm out of shape. Never done track and field my whole entire fucking life. I've done football. Football. I sprint for five seconds of play. That's it. I played fullback. I come into the game, like five plays, ten plays a game, sprint for five seconds, hit somebody, and I'm out for the game. Like I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't run. Is there running? He tries talking to me. I ignore him. He's doing a fucking 1.5 miles. Anyway, 
So we're at one. I'm at one mile. I'm looking at the timer. One mile took me 24 minutes. One mile took 24 minutes. The trainer comes right back around to my station. He's like, wow, Blaze. He said, wow, Blaze, you're going pretty slow. I'm like, no shit, bitch. I told you I was out of shape and you made me do this shit. When I signed up for the class online chat, when I signed up for the for the, the session online, it said beginner session. Beginner. Beginner. It said if you have not worked out within three months or more, choose this session. So I pressed it. It's like, wow, Blaze, you're out of shape, huh? I'm like, I told you I haven't worked out in it forever. But you wanted me, you wanted me to walk 1.5 miles. So then, you know, me being the alpha male that I am. So for, for the last 0.2 miles, I started sprinting. I started sprinting my ass off. And when I tell you, I didn't think I had it in me, but I, it felt like I was running a 4.748. Like I was zooming. I was zooming. I was in my head. I was like, Mama didn't raise no bitch. If David Groggins can do what he's done, I can do this. I can do this. When I was running, I didn't notice it, but I sounded like a fucking elephant chat. When I was sprinting, the machine was like, oh shit. <laughs> I was not expecting this one. He was the, the machine was expecting me. To just walk calmly the rest of the way. I didn't know, bitch, I'm sprinting. So I was like, boom, 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 boom. I get done sprinting. And I look at my trainer and be like, yeah, bitch, I finished strong. Yeah, bitch, I finished strong. Look at my channel, like, yeah, bitch, I finished strong. I'm an alpha. But with that mentality, my body and my lungs just gave up. I started, I sink down like this. I was like, uh. Cause my body was like, oh shit. It was like, huh? So I, I couldn't breathe. I was like, <sighs> I was like gasping for air and shit. And as soon as I'm done working out, my trainer looks at me in the face, sees me struggling for air, and says, hey, Meet me in my office. We need to go over our plan. I'm motherfucker. Can you give me ten seconds? I just got that way. I got done running farther than I have in the last year walking. Like, give me a break. Um. So I sit down there and he's like, "So your performance today was very um, very interesting." And he was like, um, so we're, we're going to schedule a, a session for tomorrow. It's going to be free. And we're going to, and I'm, and when you come back tomorrow, I'm going to give you a grade for how you did today. I'm like, motherfucker, I know. I got, I got, I didn't get A. I didn't get B. I didn't get C. I didn't get D. I didn't even get F. I got an S for shit. I told him that. I said, I got an S for shit. You don't, I don't even see a fucking grade. I don't want to see it. I know I do bad. I know I did horrible. I don't need to see no fucking great. Oh, but like, I I did I did I did bad in school as it is. I did bad in school as it is. I don't need to see it on paper. I know I did bad. You know, fuck it, my you did an unsatisfactory performance. I know. It's not satisfactory performance. I know. Now time for the big, the big, the big bomb. Pulls out his paper. And he's like, okay. Well, I mean, yeah. Okay. So he's like, okay, here's the paper here. So here is the price for our sessions. Okay, Jack, keep on. I'm a YouTuber. But I don't make that. Like, I, I'm a YouTuber. I, I, I pay my bills. You know, I can buy Uber Eats like five times a week and be happy. 
pulled out the prices, right? 10 one hour sessions for $799. 10 one hour sessions for $799. And ninety-nine dollars. And he's like, Well, um, you do have a doctor who's a nutritionist. Um, you can trade your session for a one hour massage. And I'm like, I hope I can. I'm paying seventy-nine dollars an hour. That's worth I can go to fucking I go to the red light district and get a three hour massage for fifty. And he's like, Well, um, So I gotta go back up there again. He's probably gonna be like, surprise! Today you're running four miles. And then I'm gonna, <laughs> I swear child, if he does that, I'm dipping, I'm done. I'm not doing that, fuck that, no. Anyway, so that's that chat. That, that concludes my story time for today. New to the channel, drop a like, subscribe down below if you are new, and welcome to my channel on the road to 100k subs, the big 100, and welcome to the B fam if you are new, uh, as always, good day, honest, good, day, honest, good night, peace, of each and one of you, I'll see all of you, uh, whatever, um, and that shit.